As a former classroom teacher, Board President Wesley and I know that the term teacher means a lot more than seven letters, which could include mentor, motivator, organizer, facilitator, and that's just before roll call. But in 2021, our teachers took on yet another role. In addition to their normal classroom duties, they were de facto health officials responsible for the safety and well-being of their scholars in terms of social distancing protocols. Any former or current teacher would surely tell you that teaching alone takes a ton of effort. Adding the extraordinary challenge of COVID-19 adds an unparalleled amount of stress. So, before we announce the 2021 Cedar Hill ISD Teachers of the Year, let's all take a few moments to honor and recognize all of our teachers who went well beyond the call of duty to ensure quality learning for their scholars. Yes, and the work of our exceptional teachers is seen and felt way beyond the classroom. So much so that we requested the help of our community in tonight's announcement. From the City Hill Police Chief to long-serving CHISD educators, we have an impressive list of City Hill supporters who are here to say thank you to our teachers and help write their names in lights. points of this school year have been um, just the team of people that I work with and seeing how hard we all come together. Getting to know all of the kids, even though it's virtual, it still feels like we're family. The high point for this school year for me was, is when I see my students get it in spite of. A lot goes into the school year, a lot goes into making the ship run. I will be saying that having them uh, reading 100%, four years old, almost five, reading in good levels. And I was able to juggle both online learning um, and my in-person scholars at the same time. We are still having fun together and sharing our lives, so that's the high point in my opinion. Honestly, the lowest point is just not having kids, not getting to, to do the usual, not getting to um, having to worry about, am I far enough away from them? Are they far enough away from each other? Uh, not being able to do the hands-on stuff. I am definitely hoping for better things next year. I already see um, some positive changes. Of course, you know, we have been blessed with all of our babies um, having their Chromebooks and all of the technology needed to be successful. When our students came to campus to test, <laughs> so amazingly that, because uh, most of my students are virtual, I teach seniors. Um, has to be that I feel like the fine arts department is, I don't want to say finally a cohesive department, but we are a well-working department. Um, my highest point is just being able to see the growth in the kids, um, even through this pandemic noticing the growth and the parents telling me, oh, they could do this now and they couldn't do that. And I'm like, yes, okay, <laughs> it's working. It seems like every few weeks we get more and more scholars returning to campus. And so it's really great to see them, even though I don't get to see their full face because of a mask. It's really just great energy in the classroom to have the kids back with us and to get to interact with them. Hello, I'm Steve Mason, and I'm proud to be your mayor here in the city of Cedar Hill. Honestly, this is an honor. Um, I want to tell you that for the both of us to be alumni here in CHISD, uh, I am not surprised that you are the Teacher of the Year at Plummer Elementary. Congratulations, Ms. Rosero. I'm so proud of this honor. 
Hi, Miss Davis. Remember me? This is Miss Ross, your High Point Elementary School Counselor. Ms. Charlene Jackson, congratulations for being selected Teacher of the Year at Bessie Coleman. Greetings, my name is Joe Seabrooks and I proudly serve as president of the Cedar Valley campus of the newly transformed Dallas College. It is with great pride and admiration we extend congratulations to Mrs. Stephanie Burnham for being nominated for Teacher of the Year. Hi, Mr. Kennedy, I'm Elizabeth Hunt, and I want to congratulate you for being Teacher of the Year in the Cedar Hill School District. I'm Eli Reyes, I'm the police chief here in Cedar Hill. I am also a resident of Cedar Hill, and I have children in the Cedar Hill School District. And I want to congratulate you on achieving the Campus Teacher of the Year for Prementor Middle School. Hey Kelly, I just wanted to take the time to congratulate you on being named Teacher of the Year for Collegiate Prep Elementary. Hi Samantha, this is Al Hernandez with Atmos Energy. Just want to take some time out to say thank you. I am Derek Walker, Director of Fine Arts for Cedar Hill ISD. When I think of words and different words to describe you, I think of these words. Passionate, caring, energetic, and thoughtful. Congratulations to Miss Tierra Frazier. Woo! We are so excited to be here to congratulate you and honor you for Teacher of the Year for Waterford Oaks Elementary. You know, I, I just want to begin with saying, uh, after looking over a lot of the the questions that were submitted, that you know, well done to our school district. Thank you to commitment into the classroom and to our children. And I knew when you walked in a room, you were there to help others because that's just who you are. Your passion for teaching and love of learning was as evident then as it is now. Your commitment in adapting and growing has shown scholars what it means to be a great leader. Being nominated and then awarded Teacher of the Year uh, says a lot about you and who you are. And on behalf of our community, we appreciate you. And seeing the great things that teachers like you are doing to make sure that our children are still able to succeed in the classroom. Uh, and just for you to be able to continue your education, uh, just for your personal development, in order for you to be uh, a better teacher. Uh, I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much for what you've contributed to these students' lives and from the resilience, creativity, and instilling wisdom for them to own their education. You're very passionate about your craft. I'm so excited to be able to work with you and I know the biggest motivation that you have in your life is your son. You are one of the greatest examples for your son being an African American woman, a single mother, and you're leading such a prominent life being a leading God for all children, all scholars of our district. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much. And Mr. Walker is right. You are my biggest inspiration. Much success to you and congratulations. The parents are proud of you. All of the community wants to say we love you, we appreciate you. Thank you for all that you do for our scholars and Cedar Hill. We are better because of teachers like you. To know that you have received this and are given this privilege is just amazing and I'm so very proud of everything that you have accomplished and everything that you're continuing to do. You are a difference maker. I'm gonna cry, so I need to stop recording. Um, um, just to know that there are great educators out there that are making a big difference in students' lives, um, and she is definitely one of them, so I, um, I'm just honored to know her as a colleague and friend. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm Ms. Bejarano. <laughs> that was a really a huge surprise.
Good evening, everyone. I am Denise Root, Executive Director for the Cedar Hill ISD Education Foundation. As you saw, we have an impressive group of educators vying for Teacher of the Year title. Each year, we select one elementary and one secondary teacher as the district level Teachers of the Year. Earlier this year, we sent a form to principals with the instruction to select their Campus Teacher of the Year. Once the Campus Level Teachers of the Year were selected, the names were redacted and the forms were sent to the Selection Committee. That committee is comprised of Cedar Hill ISD Education Foundation volunteers and members of the Cedar Hill business community. We are proud to award the two winning teachers each a $1,000 check from the Cedar Hill ISD Education Foundation. And this year, I am also happy to announce that all of the Campus Teacher of the Year finalists will receive $200 courtesy of the Cedar Hill Education Foundation. I want to say congratulations to all of our finalists and thank you for your ongoing commitment to our scholars. Now for the reason we are all here this evening, the announcement of our top two teachers. First up, Elementary Teacher of the Year. Thank you, Mrs. Root. I am Melissa Tyler, the 2019-20 District Elementary Teacher of the Year. It has been an honor to serve as the top elementary teacher of the year for Cedar Hill ISD. I am excited to announce that the 2020-21 Elementary Teacher of the Year is Ebony Davis, Bray Elementary School first grade teacher. She has taught in Cedar Hill ISD for 12 years and is a proud University of Texas graduate. Congrats, Ebony! Congratulations, Mr. Burley. I know you will serve CHIZ well. I am Angel Hill and I am blessed to be the 2019-2020 Secondary Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to my coworker, Mr. Deldrick Burley. Congratulations to all the honorees tonight. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and all district leadership, we sincerely wish we could celebrate these awards in person. But these stars shine just as bright. Thank you for making Longhorn Nation proud. We appreciate you.